it's your girl miss lee here good morning good afternoon or good night depending on where you are before i go any further please can you subscribe to my channel hit the thumbs up and the notification so that you are aware of each time i drop new content thank you for watching my video please stay tuned to the end drop a comment down below guys you can also follow me on the gram i'll leave my um instagram handle in the description as well and share my video so you know we got a lot of time on our hands at the moment as i keep saying i think i've said this for like the last 12 months nearly nearly we've nearly been like in this covid ish for like the last 12 months so we have a lot of time on our hands and then um, I was like, wow, like, you know, reminiscing and thinking, you know, what was I doing this time last year? And I was like, oh, I was getting ready for Carnival in Trinidad and Tobago and um, getting ready to see the beautiful island of St. Vincent. So it was the first time um, to all of the islands I actually visited because I stayed, we stayed in um, Barbados for a very short time. Uh, we stopped over in St. Lucia, but the longest stay was Trinidad for the carnival and um, it's the beautiful island. I keep saying the beautiful island of St. Vincent because I actually do believe it's a beautiful island. Plus, we was able to go over to Beckway, which is part of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And I was like, oh my God, I didn't realize, I did, this is like heaven. I didn't realize they had this hair on, on, on earth in the Caribbean. Like it was beautiful. Anyway, um, February, 2020, nearly a year ago, myself and my family we took a vacation to the carnival and we said you know what we're going to go over to st vincent and stay there as well for a few days and as i said it was my first time venturing out from jamaica because i only know jamaica and it was amazing it was definitely an eye-opener and it's something that i would definitely do again and i would recommend as well so we went to the beautiful i keep saying the beautiful island i know so i came back from um my trip and i said to my grand oh my gosh like the carnival was lit i had so much fun but i was like i would i didn't expect st vincent to be it, it's got such picturesque images it's beautiful and i don't know she took that like some kind of shade my girl started taking shots at the small islands and talking about how great jamaica was and i was like girl we not gonna do that we ain't trying to be doing that today because i had to say to her honey each island has its own uniqueness to it but when you then venture out you appreciate that even more ain't no one coming for your island honey anyway we landed in St. Vincent and it was an overcast day at, um, at the time. And I remember just being so tired because we just partied hard in Trinidad, like literally. And the last night we didn't we even had, sleep. Like, we had a like a few hours um, sleep and then we was off again. And as you guys, anybody who traveled between the Caribbean islands and you've used the um, Liat airline, I mean, I remember our flight, they said our flight was going to take off at like 6.45 in the morning. So you know that means you've got to check in like at least three hours before, two to three hours before. And we got there, so we got there about four in the morning, four-ish, five, checked in. So the flight was meant to leave about 6.45. The flight ain't even coming, the plane ain't even coming from whatever island it was on before at 6.45 a.m. Yeah? So you know, that is one wally pa waiting. I was so vexed. I swear I was so vexed. I was, I, oh. Apparently, LIAT stands for leave island at any time. <laughs> it's not real, but yeah, that's, that's the kind of nickname is picked up along the way because the flight, the flight did not even come in the time it was supposed to take off. Okay, so by the time we got to St. Vincent, it was real late. Just put it that way, with all the waiting around. And there's not even no one you can rail up to because the plane ain't even there waiting for the plane. 
the staff is waiting for the plane. Like, how do people even work like that? Oh, honey, I'm going to work. Um, I'll be back at whenever the plane decides to reach. <laughs> I hope they used to get good pay. I hear that the that airline's gone bust. I don't know how true it is. But anyway, we landed in St. Vincent at what o'clock in, in uh, evening? <laughs> Nearly the next day. And um, it was overcast. We didn't do much. As I said, I was really tired. We had like a long night and day. So I woke up and I woke up to such a beautiful scene and the sun was up now guys i'm going to show you footage but when i took all the footage it wasn't in um video recording mode i just took it on my phone so you are going to see like um it's not going to be like a full image across your screen but this is what i woke up to Now you might think, oh, yeah, that's all right. You know, you get that anywhere. But it was, it was just amazing to, to, to have that because we didn't have that in Trinidad. I am not throwing no shade. I know each island is very sensitive. No, I'm throwing no shade, you know. But I didn't get that feel of you in Trinidad. I'm just saying, hashtag just saying. So we woke up to beautiful scenery and then um, my aunt was like, guys, it's time for La Soft Way. I hope I'm saying that right. I really, really, really pray I'm saying that right. So Soft Way is um, a volcano on the island of St. Vincent and I didn't know that. So fun fact for anyone who didn't know, Softway is um, a volcano. You can hike it. I say hike because it was a hike. Yeah, I, it was sold to me as a climb, a small climb. It was a hike. It took hours to get to the top and it took hours to get back down. And I am telling you, like, I have new a newfound appreciation for volcanic islands and, and, and just the beauty of it. Um, and especially that it's in its natural form. Now, apparently, um, the volcano is, there's, there's movement. I don't know if it's called movement, but uh, it's active. There's more activity in the volcano at the moment. So I believe St. Vincent's on some form of alert. But anyway, when I started, I was like, oh, this is like a lovely rainforest. Literally, I just walked in. So right now we're in St. Vincent in the, is this a rainforest? It's a volcano. In a volcano rainforest and we're doing a family trek oh i didn't get one it's fine you can um climb the volcano at two different sides of the island we was at the opposite side to i don't know but anyway we can't we were and i was like oh okay and we had a driver and his name was called Preacher and Big Up Preacher. Preacher was hilarious. You've probably seen him in some of my footage. And like he cut, he was walking with this machete and I was thinking, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, we gonna, we gonna run up into trouble. Like your girl needs to get, you know, like let me know. Cause I need to like prepare myself right now. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. He had the machete. Like, so he gave us all sticks to walk with, which was really helpful when you're going up, when you're climbing uphill, kind of is steep, the steep um, mountain, mountain, volcano, okay. well, yeah, volcano. Um, and he was chopping through. So when I went there, I thought, oh, okay, because it's things that, this is something that a lot of tourists and locals have done and that they do. So I thought, oh, you know, it's just like a play plating, isn't it? Like there'll be a path, you can walk, you can see beautiful scenery and you know, no is helping us out. Yeah. Do you want to go in front, Cuzzy? Okay. I know you feel a bit no, like... No, no. It's really, really what they say it is. It's a volcano and it's in its natural form as you're walking up. There was one point and there was a lot, like a tree had fallen, yeah? A massive tree across the path that was there. And I thought, oh, okay, so where's the next, where's the, where's the next path? What next path? We have to climb over. Anyway, we did manage to, to get to the top and I'm gonna show you some different footage now. As I said, it was um, 
it was challenging but it was also therapeutic at the same time i think i actually experienced loads of emotions so you know i was happy it was a challenge it was enjoyable for the first 20 minutes and then i started my my mood started to change and i started think, thinking whoa 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 then i started getting pissed off that it's taking a bit too long you know 45 minutes in i still can't see the top yeah. nearly at the top of the mountain some is behind some has gone ahead mixed feelings here in st vincent with this mountain hike i don't like it but i don't want to stop See if I can get to the top of the mountain. Let's go. Hour in, no top. Got vexed, got angry, wanted to cuss people, kick people down. But I thought, Do you know what? This isn't the time or the place. Clearly, this isn't the place because it could go down here and you're here for life. Like, there's no one going to be looking for you because they can't find you because we're in this big, deep jungle. That's what it just meant. And I was just thinking, I don't know what creature can run out of anywhere so you know what it was i'm behave myself but inside the anger was boiling up it was it was um but i didn't want to stop i wanted to keep going it gives you a sense of i have to achieve this anyway five days later i reached the top <laughs> few hours later we reached the top we're at the top my sister wants to put her whole head down into the volcano and the man is telling her not to and she's still going but you know you know, Kelly said that's rock, but look, it's growing and growing every time, so the more it grows, the more it's actually to be a rock. Of course it will, it's live. So, this is a volcano, and, um, um it was it was it was worth it it was beautiful i was happy that i did reach the top and it was um definitely educational because i didn't know it was so like foggy and misty at the top of a volcano i didn't know that i don't know what i thought it was but yeah i didn't know it was like that we all loved it why are you looking at me like that zahara <laughs> what <laughs> how did you even know that i didn't know that anyway so we loved, I loved it, my family loved it. Um, a couple of them had climbed it already and they left us. They left us, yeah. Gone about them business, reached the top. We saw them, like they saw us like two weeks later. Got back, got to the top, was brilliant. We came back down um, and that was me for the night. Like they were going out that night and I remember saying, uh uh honey, mm -mm, that's not me. Me now going away. We tired, it took me out. Let me know what you think. Please drop a comment below. If you have any questions, you know I love to talk to you guys in the chat. Please remember to subscribe, hit the notification, and share. And until next time, guys, you'll see me soon. Bye.